the most ironic part about my spirituality is that I wouldn't go to a psychiatrist because I know they wouldn't understand anything I probably will say to them. They'll just relate to it and well, they'll just sit there and just go. I think I have... <laughs> The ironic part about it is that when I do my meditations and I am connected and I am talking to my spiritual guides or whoever it is that I end up connecting to, is that it's basically the exact same thing. You just sit there and talk to them and they talk to you and you, technically speaking, complain about all your human problems while the divines just look at you like, uh huh. <laughs> It's just the same ironic thing. It's just that I guess there is a difference because there is something that is core level that is for you when you receive a feedback out of this versus just getting a feedback that is so broad that anybody can pick it up. Like, you know, relax more. Breathe more, eat healthy more, um, and all these other good habits. And yeah, they all go nice and well, but some people need more than just being told this. Because there is a physical part of it, like actually having the motivation to get up and do all these things and have this energy to do this, but it takes the observational part of it, like, where is it that I am lacking, I guess, to what my habits are, that what I'm doing, that it's getting in the way of what I want to, you know what I mean? And then, it, is it, the wonderful thing about the spiritual guides is that you have, like, this invisible little friend that, just shows up and pops in and says, hey, maybe this is it. Maybe this is something you need to look at. Maybe this is something you need to probably um, take an observation in to then further understand either um, a habit, a decision, traumas, and whatnot from perspective view because it's yours they the, your divines your spiritual guides your angels whoever you talk to i talk to all kinds of beings from aliens angels spirits well the spirits will be like what the, the like the fairies whatever like there's so many different kinds but they are named differently, but some of them kind of like mixed in with each other. Anyways, this network kind of works the same as seeing a psychiatrist. It's just they get to see another level. <laughs> they get to actually be there with you. They actually be, they know your emotional level there and then. And, you know, it's like your own professional um, psychiatrist in your pocket or something like that. Uh, whatever so like that's how it can be used so that's how some people use it some people use it to win the lottery i don't know good luck with getting the numbers some people use it to help others move on with their current situations whether it be relationships letting go or talking to the dead uh there's so many different ways that this things can be used this method this why would i even call it because it all runs in the same thing. It all kind of like mixed in together. It's the same pool. We are all children of God who can, who are very sensitive and can do all these magnificent things. We can heal and support each other. And we are a strand of network of beautiful people. Uh, emotional beings who are just trying their best here in this planet. I mean, what else more do you want? It's just some of this stuff ended up getting branded all kinds of weird things like witchery or voodoo or or 
we separated the science and the magic of things, which they're the exact same thing. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to tell you. I ended up finding, like, in this journey, I found that your emotional being and state has everything to do with how you do magic, who turns out to be science. So, it is... The irony of the universe. Ta-da! Everything that got separated turns out to be, have to be, it, it, you just, it's a mashup of just everything that is in the world. And if you put it together, it's one giant jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. <laughs>